Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Hey, John Ryder and Canelo fighting this weekend in Guadalajara, Mexico. But my thing is, hey, let me show you this. Is it just me? Let me let me let me move this out of the way, right? Or does John Ryder look a whole lot like Canelo Alvarez? Look at the eyes, the beard, the nose. I'm watching this, and I'm like, you know what? John Ryder may look like Canelo, but the thing is, can he fight like Canelo? And that's what I, that's what we're going to find out this weekend. Now, the thing about it is John Ryder, he's actually been doing pretty good with his uh, boxing career, and I think the fight that got him this Canelo fight is when John Ryder, who right now is sitting at 32 wins, 18 of those wins are by KO. He has five losses out of his five losses. One was by KO, all right? But it's when he went and he defeated Daniel Jacobs. Daniel Jacobs is still a big name. Um, and unfortunately for Daniel Jacobs, he lost by a split decision. The fight went to 12 rounds. But I don't know if you guys saw the fight or not, but Daniel Jacobs, um, he was just getting beaten to the punch. And that's what um, Ryder is hoping to do when he gets into the ring with Canelo. Now, we're talking about beating somebody to the punch. You know, it is not that easy to beat a guy like Canelo to the punch. But I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to John Ryder, he plans on beating Canelo at his own game. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and say this. When it comes to the inside fighting game, it doesn't matter if you're a Canelo fan or you're not a Canelo fan. When it comes to the inside fighting game, Canelo is on a whole nother level. It's impossible to hit that man. Um, he's able to counter you. The things he's able to do, Canelo, when it comes to fighting on the inside, I just think that is just a horrible idea for John Ryder. But at the same time, John Ryder is a very amazing inside fighter as well. So we're going to see if Canelo can, let me see, uh, 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 get to the punch uh, a lot quicker than Ryder can, kind of like with Ryder beating uh, Jacobs to the punch in their fight. And if Canelo is really on the last leg of his career, that's something that Ryder and his camp are counting on. Canelo's old now. He's been doing this since he's been a teenager. You know, how much does he have left in the tank? And whatever he has left may not be enough compared to my tank. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Whether it's in close or at range, I have to favor Canelo. Uh, we know Canelo, especially if he decides to go and fight at range, he can use an in-and-out style um, if he has to, kind of like what <clears throat> Bivol did with him. Um, but still, I, I'm just looking at John Ryder and what he brings to the table. He's a good fighter. But I just think he gets, he's probably get himself knocked out in there probably before before eight rounds, and it won't be a headshot. He'll get broken down to the body. They say you go to the basement, then bubble up to the attic, right? He'll break out all the windows. That means break the body, break out all the windows in that building, and then come up top, man, and then put him out of his misery. But I was going to tell you, <clears throat> when you look like a guy like Golovkin, that last fight with Canelo, um, Golovkin is definitely toward at the end of his career. But Canelo... He, he, he looked like he struggled a, a little bit with him. And although he won the fight, and I felt he won convincingly, convincingly, he, he just looked like he's slowing just a bit, like he struggled just a little bit in the ring. Um, and when you got a guy like uh, John Ryder, who's, as his own words, who's a lion, who's hungry for success, uh, he's coming in here at age 34 and... He's just a little bit taller than Canelo Alvarez, not much. He's 5'9". Canelo Alvarez is like 5'7", right? But he, he he's definitely looking to to be more active than Triple G and to land harder shots than Triple G. Now, Ryder won the interim WBO middleweight title uh, when he beat Zach Parker back in November. Um, fifth round, they put him in the position, and basically uh, this guy, um, Parker, retired in the fight, so the fight was ended early uh, because of the work Parker was putting in. But I'm going to tell you right now, 
I just think Park has an uphill battle. He's gone on record and said that. He even said he knows that Eddie Hearn is the man to make the fight happen, and he's glad he made the fight happen, uh, that he's in communication with. Um, Parker said he's been in communication with Canelo Alvarez over the last few years. He said he and Canelo were pretty amicable um, when Ryder was a backup plan for Canelo, uh, one of Canelo's opponents. But he said now it's a bit more intense. But he says he knows that they're going to have a great game plan. He knows what he's up against, and he's giving them a whole lot of credit. But he said, anybody who's looking to go against me, man, you know, it doesn't matter if it's baseball is your game, boxing is your game, football is your game, cricket is your game. He's like, he's the type of person that's going to learn your game and beat you at your own game. And that's why he's saying he wants to fight him uh, on the inside. But that being said, we'll see what happens when they get in the ring. For me, when I think about Canelo Alvarez, man, and all the fights he's been in and him being able to, you know, become undisputed, in, in a year, you know, fighting three times in a year and the type of money he's made and, and the things he continues to do, now being able to fight at home. I'm almost at a point with Canelo Alvarez. I'm like, there's nothing left for this man to prove. He's kind of getting into that position like where Floyd Mayweather was at the end of his career. Now they want him to fight killers. Uh, the difference is Floyd, man, pretty early in Floyd's career, he realized, you know what, man, having all these titles – means nothing. You're just paying these sanctioning bodies. So Floyd would win a title and drop it. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going to pay those sanctioning fees. He didn't believe in all that. We all know Floyd Mayweather, if he wanted to, he could have become undisputed at from 130 to 154. That's not, well, I'm going to say that's a fact. That's the popular opinion, okay? But as far as Canelo Alvarez, the belts matter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say when Canelo gets past Ryder, well, then Canelo's got some things he's got he to gotta think about, what he wants to do next. You know, I'm always out here looking at the rankings and in his weight division. You know, Canelo, we know he, we know he wants Bavol, um, and he wants Bavol at 175 now. I think Suleiman has a whole lot to do with Canelo and Bavol fighting at 175 because, you know, at 168, Bavall wants those titles, so fighting up and and the WBC doesn't want Bavall to have any damn WBC belt. So they fight at 175 for Bavall strap. If for some reason Canelo puts up, if he's able to put up a better performance against Bavall the second time around, they're going to rob Bavall. And I'm going to say that's a fact. Because the, yo, the stars are on the wall. Right, my allergies acting up. Feel like I got sand in my eye. Um, the stars are lining up for Canelo to pick up a belt at 175, and for him to go fight Berdabia, so he gets another opportunity at uh, the undisputed uh, in another weight class. Okay, that was his goal initially, but he went up there with Bivol. I think he underestimated him, and you know. The reality hit him real quick, okay? But going forward, look at the things that are happening for Canelo. Him and his brothers, it's amazing. Seven siblings fought on the same fight card. Now they're in the Guinness, Guinness Book of World Records. And Suleiman was right there. And I'm, I'm not knocking that. I think that's amazing. But what I'm saying is, a blind man can see that Suleiman and the secret society of pushing Canelo into positions to where he can go ahead and continue to grow his legacy. Not many fighters get that kind of luxury. But you know what? It is what it is. But for Canelo Alvarez, after Ryder, he's looking to fight Bavol. Excuse me, right? And if he gets in there and makes it somewhat competitive, they're going to rob Bavall. And then he'll go and fight for Undisputed. And we just have to see what happens there. But long story short, I know Canelo wanted to become a billionaire. Anthony Joshua wants to be a billionaire. So with Canelo and AJ, I expect to see them hang around until they become billionaires. But as far as Canelo fighting David Benavidez, fighting Morrell, fighting Jamal Charlo, 
fighting anybody, Bubu Andre, anybody who we feel, you know what, that's a good fight. That could give him a challenge. He's not going to do it, man. He's going to keep jumping around, picking and choosing the, the fighters he wants. And as long as Eddie Hearn is on, still paying him that good money, Eddie Hearn still has fighters over there that he can put in the ring with Canelo. And I'm going to be honest with you right now. I am 100, 100% sure that Canelo will make a fight with Berlanga much faster than he would against Benavidez, against Jamal, against Morel, and against Demetrius Andre. And you know why. All right? Because that's, that's, that's low-hanging fruit right there. But that being said... We'll see uh, what happens over the next 18 months with Canelo, his opponents, Eddie Hearn. But right now, he's got Ryder in front of him. Ryder said he plans on coming to fight Canelo and beating him at his own fight on the inside. And this to me is going to say a whole lot about Canelo if he can get Wilder, uh, get Ryder out of there and knock him out. Or if Canelo is out here getting you know outworked, then maybe Canelo and Eddie Reynoso have to sit back and say it's time to just kind of call it quits. But I don't see him quitting right now. If he loses, he's a man that ex- I can't even say he accepts his losses. But he did. It did look like he had some hand issues, but that's his fault. He, these guys going into fights with injuries. Ryan Garcia, I can see him being influenced to go into a fight with an injury and not being able to speak up for himself. Canelo, come on, my man. You know, you, you lost that fight. Uh, but healthy with two hands, let's see what happens. All I know is I expect when Canelo fights Ryder, maybe the first two rounds will be a little interesting and Canelo just starts to pull away. That's what I anticipate and get a knockout. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. I'm in the breeze.